to transcribe a gene RNA polymerase proceeds through a series of well defined steps and these all steps are grouped into three phases and these three phases are initiation elongation and termination so first of all let's see what is initiation that is initiation of transcription a promoter is the DNA sequence that initially binds to the RNA polymerase together with any other uh, transcription factor. So, uh, one uh, requirement is uh, RNA polymerase and uh, some more transcription factors are also required. So, uh, the first step is the, the binding of these uh, uh, promoter and RNA polymerase in addition to any other transcription factor. Once formed, the promoter polymerase complex undergoes structural changes which are required for the initiation to proceed. Then the DNA around the point where transcription will start unwinds. That is, uh, uh, there is some point on the DNA and that is the site of uh, uh, initiation of transcription. So, uh, once this uh, uh, complex is formed, the DNA unwinds from this site. The base pairs are uh, disrupted and they produce a transcription bubble of single-stranded DNA. So, uh, if uh, DNA is uh, like uh, helically coiled and it is double-stranded, from the site where initiation will start, it uh, begins opening up and after opening it forms a transcription bubble. So, this is a transcription bubble and in this transcription bubble the two DNA strands are open and they are single stranded DNA. Again like DNA replication transcription always occur in a 5 prime to 3 prime direction that is the new ribonucleotide is added to the 3 prime end of the growing chain. So, you know uh, in DNA, uh, the polarity is 5 prime and 3 prime end. So, uh, transcription uh, proceeds from 5 prime to 3 prime end. So, it means the new uh, uh, nucleotides will be added up at the 3 prime end. However, unlike uh, replication, only one of the DNA strands acts as a template on which the RNA strand is built. As you know, in case of replication, when uh, uh, the, there is, it is replication fork, both these DNA strands, they act as templates and two new strands are synthesized along these two single strands. But in case of uh, transcription, uh, 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 this, uh, if this is a transcription uh, bubble, only one strand will, will act as a template and the synthesis of new RNA will only take place along this strand. The uh, other strand will not transcribe, will not be transcribed. The initiation can itself be broken down into a series of defined steps. This uh, initiation phase this is further divided into different steps. So, the first step uh, in the initiation is the initial binding of polymerase to a promoter to form what is called a closed complex. So, uh, a polymerase binds to uh, the uh, DNA and it makes a closed complex. In this form, the DNA remains double stranded and the enzyme is bound to the one phase of the helix. So, this is a helix and enzyme is bound to the one phase of this helix. In the second step of initiation, the closed complex undergoes a transition to the open complex in which the DNA strands separate over a distance of about 13 base pair around the start site to form the transcription bubble. So, uh, 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 because the DNA is uh, opened up in this step, so that's why it, it is called open complex. 
and uh, uh, in this uh, step the dna uh, double uh, strand opens about 13 uh, base pair long uh, strand will open up and will form a transcription bubble in the next stage of initiation polymerase enters the phase of initial transcription followed by promoter escape so uh, actually transcription uh, starts here but uh, uh, this is initial uh, initial transcription and it is different from actual transcription uh, so uh, this initial transcription is followed uh, by the escape of promoter so promoter region is escaped the opening up of the dna frees the template strand so uh, the opening up of dna it frees the template strand now the template strand is free to be transcribed the first two ribonucleotides are brought into the active site of the uh, rna polymerase which you know active site is the uh, cleft uh, in this claw in the center of this claw uh, so these two ribonucleotides then aligned on the template strand and then are joined together so uh, if this is uh, the template strand two ribonucleotides come here they align across this template they join together and they uh, they uh, then stay here in the same way subsequent ribonucleotides are incorporated into the growing rna chain so after the joining of first, these two first uh, uh, nucleotides new nucleotides then uh, keep on entering and they keep on joining with the existing uh, rna chain so incorporation of uh, the first 10 or so ribonucleotides is a rather inefficient process and uh, this is actually called initial transcription and at that stage the enzyme often releases short transcripts each of less than uh, 10 or so nucleotides and then begins synthesis again and this synthesis is actual transcription so the first uh, synthesis of about uh, 10 nucleotide long transcript that is uh, inefficient in this phase the polymerase promoter complex is called initial transcribing complex so uh, uh, this complex is now called initial transcribing complex once and an enzyme makes a transcript longer than 10 nucleotides it is it is said to have escaped the promoter so on this template strand about first 10 bases uh, are considered as promoter region and after if uh, these 10 bases are synthesized then it is actually escaped promoter at this point it has formed a stable ternary complex and this ternary complex includes enzyme dna and rna this is the transition to the elongation phase so actually the formation of this ternary complex is the end of initiation phase and then uh, as the actual transcription will uh, start from here so then uh, it is uh, it will be entered into the elongation phase